Hey there, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks. And today I'm gonna to show you how to transform your photo completely using blending modes. Super easy and super quick. Now, let me know in a comment below. Have you ever heard of the different blending modes before? Have you used them before? Just give me a simple yes or no so I know if you've, you've tried them. Well, blending modes in Photoshop are a really easy way to really make some dramatic changes. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look in this uh, layers panel that's over here on the bottom right hand side. Now, you can either duplicate that background layer or you can just go down to the bottom and create a new adjustment layer. Which one you pick doesn't really matter because we're not going to be working with that exact adjustment. We're only going to be working with the blending mode. So I chose levels. Like I said, it doesn't matter which one you choose, um, but it does matter what blending mode you choose. So the blending modes are right here above that adjustment layer panel and it says normal. And the opacity of that mode is right next to it. Let's just click on the area arrow that says normal and you will see all of the different blending modes pop up. Now I'm not gonna go through every single one of these today, but we are gonna take a look at some of the more popular modes. Now you'll see they're kind of divided up into different categories. The more popular ones are this second grouping, which will make your image more dark. The third one, and these modes will make your image more light. And this third grouping here will give more contrast to your image. So let's take a look first at these darkened blending modes. I'm gonna choose multiply, that's one I like to use quite a bit, and let's see what happens when we click on that blending mode. Well, it takes our photo and gives it a nice, dark, deep, rich look. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Let's go back to that those blending mo modes, and maybe this time I'm gonna choose Linear Burn. Now that gives it a much darker, moody look, but for me, that's kind of too over the top, it's too much. So if the blending mode is too much for you, you're gonna wanna take a look at the opacity and you're just gonna click on that arrow and you're gonna drop it down to where you like it. So for me, I kinda do like it dark and moody. I think that looks kinda neat. So I might leave the opacity right at about 53%. That's kinda cool. Now let's give it a totally different look altogether. I'm gonna bring that opacity back up. I'm gonna go back to my blending modes and this time, let's go into the category that will lighten the image. So I'm gonna choose screen. Watch the difference this makes when I push screen for my blending mode. Pretty amazing, huh? Gives it a nice, light, airy feeling. So completely different from that moody look we had before. Once again, if I were to use this as my final image, I probably wouldn't want it so bright. So I would probably drop the opacity just a little bit. And that looks pretty good. Now, if you want to take a look at another light blending mode, we could choose another one. Um, maybe you would choose Linear Dodge. And you see that really brightens the image even more, kind of gives it a nice creative look. Once again, you can adjust that opacity if it's too much for you. And finally, I want to take a look at a couple of the blending modes in this fourth category here. Now, if we click on Overlay, that's gonna give us a nice contrasty look. And it kind of makes the my subjects pop out and the background pop out too. And I think that looks really nice just the way it is. You could also try another one of the blending modes. Let's just try, let's pick Vivid Light and see what happens. Now that one's a little bit more dramatic, so I might drop the opacity on that one there. But what I want you to see and realize is that each one of these blending modes is gonna give you a slightly different look. So you can get really creative with all of these different modes and get a totally different look on the same photo. Now, before we go, there's one last thing that I wanna show you that you can do with these blending modes. So let's go back up and I liked the look of that linear burn. I liked kind of the moodiness of that there. And I wanna increase the opacity because I like it kind of dark and moody, but I don't like how dark it is on their skin. So 
I want to erase that off of that blending mode. Now, the good thing about choosing an adjustment layer instead of a background layer, like we did in the very beginning, is that it gives you your layer mask already. So that's already popped up for us. If I want to erase off of their skin, I just go to black, grab my brush. I'm going to decrease the opacity of my brush just a little bit. You may keep it at 100%, totally up to you. And I'm just going to brush that blending mode off of their skin because I think it's just a little too harsh on the skin, but I do like it on the other parts of the photo. And there you have it. So with these blending modes, you can also really target where they show through and where they don't. So the possibilities are really endless. You can make some really cool creative choices just by using these simple blending modes. Now, once again, they're located right above that adjustment layer panel, and you can play around and choose any of these and see what happens to your image. So let me know below in a comment, is this something you think that would be helpful to you? Just a simple yes or no would be great. I would love it if you would give it a try and see how it transforms your photo. And if you know another photographer that you think this would help, I would love it if you would share it with them. And please subscribe to the channel where I will be adding new tutorials all the time. Now to see the difference of this photo and several different blending modes, you can go over to cozyclicks.com forward slash blend to see all of these modes and see the written tutorial. See you next time.